awards that we will be handing out tonight at NFL Honors is the Coach of the Year Award. All that now as we welcome in uh, our pal Frank Frigo, the co-founder of Edge Sports, to do what he and his team do all year long, and that's to dig deep on the coaching ranks of the NFL and how uh, analytics can help coaches make better decisions. So perfect guy uh, to dig in on the Coach of the Year Award here. And Frank, let, let's talk about it here. Uh, how do you guys see the Coach of the Year Award going? Who deserves it most if edge sports is handing out the award well i think we have a real clear-cut favorite this year john harbaugh with baltimore ravens he just really had an extraordinary year so we were tracking coaches decision making all season at edge sports we do a really deep dive of their decisions and take a comprehensive look at their ability as coaches to to really affect their seasonal wins and harbaugh was extraordinary in that with a high-powered offense that he has he faces a lot of situations that our analysis says should be aggressive goes, and he really delivered and he got the results this year. How about your best example on that? Yeah, so, I mean, I think a really good example is in week 13 against the, the 49ers when it was a little over four minutes left in the game, and he faced a fourth and one in his own territory, and that's not a real obvious thing to do when there's a little over four minutes left in a game, and you can try to pump the ball away and and pinned the, the opponent deep, but they went for it. They managed to run the clock out and win by three. And that was uh, really telling of their ability to trust their offense, to use the analytics in a right way. And we saw that decision as just being really clear cut. It was uh, almost 20% in win probability alone on that decision, which is very, very large. I love it. I love it. An aggressive go. I love it. John Harbaugh uh, with uh, definitely some of those moves that paid off for the Ravens, who finished 14-2, and best record in the NFL, but they are not in the Super Bowl. The Chiefs are your AFC champions. Of course, the 49ers on the other side here. Let's look at the Super Bowl 54 coaching matchup. Who's got the edge there? Well, we give a slight edge to Kansas City. So we simulate this game. We take into account all of the decisions, all of the performance throughout the season. We think it's going to be a close matchup. But when we look at our coaches' rankings, they really crystallize during the course of the season, and the cream really rises to the top. So we ended up seeing Andy Reid in the number two position and Shanahan in the number four position. And we're going to give a slight nod to uh, Kansas City on this one. All right. Uh, so, I mean, what, I, I know, I know the, uh, all your models have to, have to run it, but if he's facing a fourth and one from uh, his own territory in Super Bowl 54, you think he's going to give it the aggressive go? You know, I, I think Andy Reid has really evolved as a decision maker. I mean, a few yeah. years ago, maybe not, but I think he understands the analytics. He's got a great staff there supporting him, and, and I think he's likely going to make a courageous decision if he faces it in this game, and it could make the difference. Heck, the last time we were here in a Super Bowl in Miami, Sean Payton had one of the, the all-time aggressive moves in Super Bowl coaching history with the onside kick uh, to start the second half. Certainly paid off for the Saints. What bold move might we see a head coach make in Super Bowl 54? Uh, Frank Frigo from Edge Sports, thanks so much for being with us here today. We appreciate your insight on this coaching matchup uh, for Super Bowl 50. <laughs>